Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to try to take down the level 65 Thunder Dragon. So I'm going to begin, and we'll see how this plays out. Now, it's important to note that I don't have Alte Muller. And Alte Muller, honestly, would be the key character, in my opinion, for beating this Thunder Dragon easily. Because I don't have him, I don't know how doable it is. But we'll give it a try, and, you know, if it succeeds, great. If it doesn't, I have the recording to share with others to show, I guess, whether I succeed or not. In any case, let's begin. So, one important note is I converted my Ledin to an infantry class for this battle, instead of leaving him as a Templar. The reason is because the Thunder Dragon, he does, he only does reduced damage to infantry characters and Lancer characters. Um, I think he, actually, he also does less damage to uh, sea monster characters, like uh, Lester if he's in that class, or Pier or Pierre, if he's been upgraded, but in any case, Templar Ledin cannot survive against the Thunder Dragon attack, but the King Ledin can. So that's the reason for that change. Um, that pretty much covers everything. You know, this is the setup I'm going to run. I really still don't know if Tierras is a good choice, or if I'm better off with, say, using Sophia. Actually, on second thought, I think Sophia is the better option. I'm just thinking right now, because one offers 30% more attack, but Sophia offers an extra strike with Lianas again, as well as skill refresh. So, you know what? Let's try Sophia for this fight. Rather than Tiaris, I'm going to run Sophia with her heal spell and strengthen for a I guess a kind of semi-faction buff. Although I do have Bernhard, so the semi-faction buff is not ne really necessary. You know what? Let's switch back to Tiaris. We'll leave it as is. So... I do think Sophia could be very useful though for the rewind. Because again, it would refresh Leon's skills, and it would also be considered a refresh for a gain. So it gives you an extra attack. It's just that Tiaris' attack blessing could add more damage, potentially, than an, than an extra strike. Especially since you can constantly cast it. So, in any case, we'll leave this as is. So, let's begin. It's going to be the chivalry assault to start. It's just, the first attack is just with uh, chivalry. Because that way, for the second attack, I can have Tiaris apply Attack Blessing on Leon. And then with the Again from Liana, Leon can do a Assault with the Blessings. And this should be enough to guarantee that the Leviathan dies. Yeah. There we go. So Leviathan taken down. Next is, let's move Ledin up, and he can faction buff this turn. Doesn't need to Divine Guard, because the enemies are, I'm actually outside the enemy range. And similarly, Bernhardt can move up and faction buff. So, this turn, I'm going to do exactly what I did for the level 60 version. Draw the Bone Dino in and have Ledin Divine Guard. Ooh. Then we'll move Tiaris. Oh, sorry, we'll move Liana and do a Mass Prayer right after Ooh. I move Bernhard first. So Bernhard can move, shift down, I guess. He just can't stand here because that would affect Liana's uh, ability to apply the Sage's Hat on Ledin. So, yeah, we'll move Le Bernhard, we'll apply prayer on F1, and then have Tiaris apply miracle. Here we go. Now, because I turned Ledin into King, I can no longer one-shot these uh, cavalry units, the Bone Dinos, because Ledin is now doing less damage to cavalry as infantry. 
there is that disadvantage of this, of changing okay. Leden to King, but it's the only way that Leden could survive an attack from the Thunder Dragon, so I have, really have no choice. In any case, let's attack the Dark Elf General. No, unexpectedly was able to one-shot her. That's good. So, how to set up? Well, let's put Leon there for now, yes. and let's have Ledin attack the Bone Dino, hopefully killing it. Nope. Close, but not quite. Ooh. Let's get Tiaris out of the way. Again, she cannot survive a tentacle strike from the Cuttlefish. Not with her hit points, so she needs to just retreat. We'll move Liana down to apply Sage Attack on to Ledin again. She can also heal him to full health for sure. And then finally, Bernhard comes in to provide a blocking protection for Liana so that she won't get pulled all the way up. <coughs> Ledin will tank two hits for sure. So Liana's protected, not pulled all the way north. Ledin tanks both strikes. And then... I need to move forward. Interesting that he didn't use water Ooh. control. In any case, let's start moving. We'll have Leon kill off... One second. Let's have Leon chivalry attack this cuttlefish right now. Can he also get attack blessing? He can. But the positioning for Tiaris is hard. So I'll have to go with him. It's okay. I'm not expecting to kill this guy anyways. I just need to weaken him right now. Yeah. Divine Guard Ooh. is deactivated. Liana has two debuffs preventing her from moving properly. Well, so I guess I'll attack the Bone Dino. And also attack the Bone Dino one more time. I'll take a lot of damage from Bernhard, but he won't die. Okay. Now, I can use a gain on Ledin, purely to activate the Vineguard. Oh jeez. There we go. And Tiaris can't move in. She has to stay away. Ledin should tank this hit just fine. No problem. Yep. Alright. So let's move up and apply Attack Blessing on Bernhard. And then Bernhard can remove this water control via hegemony in his attack on the cuttlefish. Which he actually nearly kills it too. Nice. Well, let's have Leon finish the job. Done. So, advancing towards the Thunder Dragon now. And it is turn 5. By pushing it forward like this, you know, Bernhard's also in a pretty good position to attack. 
let in. Oh, Rihanna can only move one tile because of the tentacle attack that was done on her. So she'll move first and heal up Ledin. Ledin can just start shifting north. Turn 6. Next turn, Rihanna will have a gain. Which is pretty useful. Well, let's just heal up. Bernhard could move into attack to get attacked, but there's no point, is there? If I do this, the Thunder Dragon gets one free attack on Bernhard. And then I can't use a gain next turn. So I'm going to just position Bernhard right here and heal faction buff. Leon can just get ready to cross over. Ledin is pretty much the same. <coughs> you might as well faction buff though. And then Tieris running all the way forward. Can't really do much, can she? Well, do a heal, I suppose. Because I noticed uh, Leon wasn't at full hit points. Yeah. Alright, so this turn is when Liana needs to use a game so that Bernhard can strike. So here we go. Let's move Bernhard up. Let's move Liana forward to use a game on Bernhard. Leon can just run across. It's not a big deal. Yes. Let's see. So, so, so we'll send Leon across. Yes. We'll have Tiara's attack apply miracle now. After Leden moves. Yes. Leden first, then Tiaris with the miracle, <coughs> and finally Bernhard with the attack. Good. Nothing for Leon to do. So he's just going to move, isn't he? So, attack blessing. Hmm. Let's have Leden cross over and Divine Guard first. So, Bernhard's not taking an attack this turn. We'll attack Blessing and Prayer with these two. And Prayer... There we go. Now Bernhard, the second strike. 22 dam 2200 damage, pretty good. And yeah, let in protecting Tiaris. And yes. now... Let in placed right here will protect Leon. Double check that. Yes, because there is still two turns on Divine Guard, so Leon can now attack this turn. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Bernhard. With the attack. Leon with a chivalry attack. 
Assault? Let's see how much damage this does. 2100. So around the same amount of damage as Bernhard. Gieris runs across. Safely. And Liana just slowly crossing now. So let's see. Ledin tanking that attack from the Thunder Dragon. And yeah, he took barely anything because as an infantry class he's taking reduced damage from that Thunder Dragon. Leon's attack is first. 1100 damage without assault. So it just shows it's that 1.6 times damage that was coming into play more than anything else. Bernhard needs the faction buff. And Le fortunately, Leon has a gain. Ooh. So. Ooh. Bernhard back. And faction buff. Ledin moves up because the Vineguard is over, so he, he needs to protect Leon still. So that's the reason for this shit. Alright, Liana crosses over and uses a gain on Bernhard, so Bernhard can get back and attack. Ooh, might as well move Tiaris first so that her talent affects Bernhard, so that he has some more regeneration. And now we move Bernhard back in to attack the Thunder Dragon. Alright, he has the plus 30% attack this time, but let him tanks that hit, no problem. Fine guard up. Let's have Tiaris attack blessing. Ooh. Now Bernie can do a attack. The attack blessing. Twenty thousand damage. So it's looking pretty good in terms of damage output. It's turn eleven. So there is still four more turns. I think I'm on track to kill the Thunder Dragon. Although it is pretty close, I have to say. Let's move Liana up and heal up Lenin. Her talent will also heal uh, Leon, which is what I needed. And then Leon just attacks. All the angels die, wow. <coughs> but damage is damage. Alright, let in, continue to tank the hits. Turn 12. Kiaris has Miracle available. And I have a gain next turn. So it might be better to wait till next turn to use everything at once. Chivalry, Assault, a gain, and Miracle. So. Yeah, wait till next Ooh. turn. Let's just have Bernhard attack then. I just want to see if I miracle myself. Yeah, Bernhard has to kind of stand here. Because otherwise he can't get affected by the miracle skill. Ooh. So just Bernhard with attack blessing, attacking the Thunder Dragon. Liana might as well do prayer. Since next turn she's using a gain instead. Alright, So it's just going to be a regular heal from Tiaris this turn, saving the miracle for next turn. And Leon will just do a regular attack without even assault. Alright. Angels. Taking all the damage, the 20 attacks from uh, 
the Thunder Dragon, because it seems like each angel can absorb two hits. Yes. So they just have they have enough hit points individually with the 455 plus 182 to absorb one hit from the Thunder Dragon. Exit. Sorry, two hits. All right. Keeping Leon safe. All right. Let in tanking the hits, keeping everything, keeping the battle possible for a victory. It's going to be very close. It looks like I'm just. Faction buff wears off on Bernhard. So be it. Let's start off with Leon. Chivalry assault. There's the first attack. And backing up. Next is Miracle. Hold off on that. Um. No, next is again on Leon. Might as well miracle. You know what? Yeah. Miracle. Heal up everybody. Burn hard with the attack to remove the other buff on the Thunder Dragon. I should have done this first. This was a mis mistake. It cost me some damage because the Thunder Dragon had a defense buff, so he was taking less damage. But. Oh well. It's okay. Although, although he took less damage, he is still dying. So, 33,000 hit points. I think I'm almost done. Yeah, this is finishable. All right, attack blessing on Bernhard. I have not been able to faction buff with Bernhard, but he has miracle and attack blessing. So, here we go. <laughs> 23 damage. Let's heal up Leon and attack. So close. So very, very close. 14,000. I have to attack with Bernhardt. I need to remove that defense buff. There is no choice. He can't afford to faction buff this turn. But that knocked him down to 460 hit points. But, oh, nice. So, or sorry, 646 hit points. So with this, it is over. Alright. Very close fight, but it worked out. 801 damage, jeez. So, managed to finish the Thunder Dragon. I had to wait till level 60, and part of the reason was because I just wanted to guarantee that I would clear the Thunder Dragon in one go. Um, and let's see what I get. Ooh, Tierra. Well, it's an SSR. I think it's one of the worst SSRs, but it is an SSR, so I'll take it. All right, so I'm going to take a look at the item first before talking about my party. When unit hit points is at 100%, magic defense and defense increase by 3%. Templars could use it, so theoretically I could give this to Leden. The problem with that is keeping a unit at 100% health is pretty rare. 
So while at 50% this would be a 15% defense and magic defense buff, I don't think I can keep Leaden at 100% hit points that often to make it worth using. It seems like it's a good Pv PvE item. It would be much better than, you know, Aeneas' helmet for PvE. But for PvP, it seems pretty terrible. And it's... yeah. Over, that really doesn't make it attractive enough for me to level up the Tierra. Up to level... you know... Up to level 50, anyways. So... Because at this point, you know, I, what I want is items that are more configured for PvP as opposed to PvE. Having cleared most of the PvE content, I no longer really need items that are specific for PvE anymore. So, we'll look for another helmet for an, for Leaden, basically. So, at this point, let's talk about my characters and their equipment. Leon. Still the same set. Last night, Mithril Armor, Horror Helm, Assault Ring. It still really hasn't changed. Most of the enchants are still not that great. 4% attack here, 9 attack there with 5 defense. 3% attack here. There is 11% defense, but in the scheme of things, this doesn't really matter for Leon, right? So it's really just a 3% attack. And then, then the last knight has a plus 20 attack enchant. So overall, his enchants aren't really that great. None of them. Neither is, neither is his equipment, really. So that was Leon. Leaden, again, not no real changes. Level 40 Oaf Sword. Enchant is pretty terrible. Anasis armor with 6% defense. That's all that really matters. Uh, Anasis helmet, this one had a plus 14% defense and 6% defense. So this was, I have to admit, this was a very good enchant for uh, Leaden. I got very lucky on this one. And then finally, King's amulet with 6% defense and plus 4 defense. 91 hit points as well. So overall, his equipment hasn't really changed. I did re-roll <laughs> an enchant on him, and somehow the Anasis armor got ridiculously lucky there. So, that's Leaden's equipment. Bernhard, the one that has the most change. Uh, level 50 Seal Guardian, plus 11% attack, plus 18% per attack, plus 3% defense. This was by far the best enchant I've rolled yet. Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure what I did was I did roll one of the SSR items, Full Moons. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I rolled one of these, Full Moons, and I managed to get this enchant, so I got extremely lucky here. Um, Dragon Scale Armor, still garbage, just 7 plus 7 attack, or plus 7 defense, no attack addition. Anasis Helmet, plus 6% defense, again, no attack addition. And I did give him the Winged Shin Guards with plus 6% attack and plus 5% hit points. Hit points didn't really matter, it was more just plus 6% attack. So overall though, this is just plus 6 and then plus 11, so that's plus 17% attack and plus 18 attack in total. If you get two attack enchants, it would pretty much do the same thing. The most... yeah. So that was Bernhardt. He does have full mood, which gave him an, an additional 10% attack, 10% defense. So that might have made a difference too. Finally, in terms of skills, he had uh, the faction buff. He had hegemony to dispel the enemy buff on the dragon. And finally, he had sunshade, because sunshade gave the chance to restore 30% hit points. It actually did play an effect in this fight against the thunder dragon. There were a few times where he was brought to full health by this enchant. I'm going to replace his skills now, because that's not normal skill set I use for him at all. But yes, this skill set did make a difference for sure, and it definitely let Bernhard be the main damage dealer. Um, I'd, next is Liana. Liana's equipment set, no changes, you see. Level 50 Blessing Staff, level 50 Crystal Ball. The Vel Coat really doesn't do anything, neither does the Sage's Hat. Well, it did. Level 40 Sage's Hat, but in terms of defense, Liana never really took a hit, so that didn't matter. Um... That pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? Just level 50 Blessing Staff and level 50 Crystal Ball. Even a level 10 Sage's Hat would work, as long as you have the Sage's Hat to remove uh, the stun, you know, and speed decrease, which helped for Leaden. And then, in terms of the Enchant, it was Crystal. Finally, Enchant effect, you know, there was plus 9 int here, plus 2% int there, plus 3 int here plus 8 in there. So not really much intelligence increase, even for the enchantments. I didn't really put any 
attention into this equipment, because I figured I would be replacing it all eventually. But nonetheless, despite that, Liana was able to keep everyone pretty much healthy. So, that's Liana. Last but not least is Tiaris. Tiaris has a level 30 Ulver staff, because I got two of them. So I leveled one up to level 30. And the enchant doesn't even give any plus intelligence. None at all, as you can see here. Death's Robe was the same thing. I picked up two of them, so I leveled up to level 30. Plus 1% in there. Again, next to nothing. Sage's Hat, I got a second Sage's Hat, and I found it useful, so I leveled it up. Plus 2% in there. And then finally, a Crystal Ball, level 20. Plus six int. So I didn't pay any attention to these enchants. I think I only did like, you know, once or twice per item, as long as there was any. Yeah. And then, then I just left it that, as that. So Tiaris' equipment set, just nothing special at all. Uh, she was just here to apply Attack Blessing and Miracle, which really did help uh, Bernhardt in terms of keeping Bernhardt healthy, because the Attack Blessing reduces the amount of damage you take when you attack, right? Reduces damage taken by half. So that was what let Bernhard attack constantly while staying healthy as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the party. So I didn't have Ulti Muller and I was still able to clear the level 65 dragon. And I hope you found this video useful. Uh, the strategy on the whole was pretty much the exact same as the level 60 dragon, except I did optimize it a little bit more, you know. And I think overall, though, the main thing is whenever you get a gain, it's better used on Bernhardt than it is on Leon, in all honesty. Because that way Bernhardt can reapply the faction buff and then attack. When I used it on Leon that first, that near the end, you know, Bernhardt was no longer able to do as much damage because he no longer had a faction buff. So that definitely cost me damage. I was definitely better off. You know, moving Bernhard back, using Lianas again on Bernhard, and then attacking with Bernhard again. Then I was using it to attack twice with Leon. And I guess that's everything I wanted to say. Thanks for watching, everyone. On that note, Nitro out.